Welcome to Go, coming to you today from the Kelowna Community Theatre, which is part of the Kelowna Fan Expo, KFX. It's a celebration of comics, movies, all kinds of cool counterculture things are going on here in Kelowna today, and we're going to check them all out coming up on today's show. Now take a look at this down here at KFX. It's the uh, Empire Movie Props display, and these are actual props, the real props that were used in the real movies, like movies like uh, Star Wars and The Terminator, and we've got the, uh, a portal here from Stargate. So cool, and we'll have lots more cool stuff like that coming up after the break. All right, well now we're with some folks from Puppet Killer. We've got Lisa and Catherine and Jet here. Now, uh, Lisa, this is your movie. A lot of us made it, but absolutely, I was the director and the creator of the film. Uh, started about two years ago, actually. And uh, so tell me a little bit about it. Puppet Killer is a horror film that uh, pays homage to the 1980s uh, horror films. It's about a gentleman named Jamie, played by Alex Ponovic, and his younger self, played by Jet Klein. And uh, he uh, doesn't quite know when people start to die if he's gone crazy or if it's actually his childhood puppet that's killing everyone. So. Oh, man, puppets are so creepy. Right? Now, uh, a very familiar face from all kinds of, uh, you know, productions that are done in the area here, Thank Catherine. You. So, so uh, what, what's your part in Puppet Killer, though? Well, the older version of Jamie, Alex, goes to high school, and I play one of the teachers there that, uh, that this group of teenagers is dealing with before they go off in search of, of the puppet. So what's it like to be in a, in a, in a good old-fashioned horror movie? It was uh, super fun. It was super fun, and it's the people who make it fun. So right. when Lisa asked, all of us said, of course, Lisa, because she's such a great advocate for artists as well as a great actor and director in her own right. So we were on board immediately, Just and it was such a fun time. Jet Klein, of course, a little local connection here. So I, I've known Jet for a little while. You've been uh, getting quite a few roles lately. Well, there's... A few roles I've been getting. Uh, I like acting, and I like Puppet Killer, and I like all the movies I do, and I like acting, and I like a ton of movies I do. What was it like to be in a in a scary movie? Was it scary at all to make the movie? Uh, not much. I like I liked my puppet. You like Simon? Yeah. They so Simon was the name of your puppet? Yeah. Did you bring him home? No. You scare your mom with it? No. That I do not do. That's one of the cool things about a convention like this is that, you know, filmmakers here, it's not just people dressing up. We've been talking to a lot of the cosplayers today, mm -hmm. but it's so so great to be able to see the people that are creating the uh, the work that, that we're here all here celebrating. So thanks very much for coming down. Thank you. And taking the time to talk to us. Great to see you. Thanks for, for hosting us. Now we're talking to Nicole and Richard and some fantastic handmade outfits right yes yeah all handmade it was the repurposed uh, materials from secondhand stores and PVC piping and uh, just made it into the characters we saw in the video game so your you're characters from Assassin's Creed right yes we are Assassin's Creed syndicate now you have some pretty cool operating uh, <laughs> dagger things here yes this is the actually this is a an official licensed replica from Ubisoft soft sorry for the uh, hidden blade Wow! Um, the only item that we really couldn't make in time. <laughs> right, right. That would take some skill to, to it build. It takes that. a little bit of skill. There are some pretty unique ones out there. So, what is it about uh, cosplay that really, you know, inspires you to do this much work? Because this is a lot of work. It is. It's about uh, it can be anywhere from six months to three months, depending on how much you want to put into it. But uh, it's uh, just the neat hands-on and, and showing your craft and what you can do and getting your hands dirty, so to speak, and showing yourself off. <laughs> you guys look great. You'll be competing later on today? Oh, for sure. Yes, we will. Yeah, right. no, it's awesome having it in the Kelowna area, right, right at home. Well, you guys look great. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you so and, much. And, and I'm going to back away slowly so they don't <laughs> use those hidden blades. <laughs> Now we're talking to Kevin and Caitlin. And Caitlin, you have to explain to me again what your uh, what your cosplay is. Um, I'm Kurisu Makise uh, from Steins Gate. It's about time travel kind of, and they have oh. like, he's a mad scientist, and I'm his sidekick, I guess. And they create things and figure out this weird microwave, gel nanos, and they go forward and back in time. 
Well, that's cool. So, so what is it about uh, about that show that attracts you? That makes you want to dress up like this? Um, it's just like there's such a good story behind it, and like figuring out like new things and creating things, and you know. That is some sword you've got there, Christina. Thank you. So this is a character from League of Legends, right? Yes. So there is a lot of work. There's a lot of detail in this. Yeah. <laughs> how, how long did it take you to put this together? Um, about a couple months. I kind of started like last October, but just did it very slowly. So you're here from Vernon. Yeah. So what's it like to have uh, a fan expo like this uh, here in the Okanagan? Uh, it's really nice because usually I'll just travel to uh, Vancouver and stuff. So it's nice to have a local one. Now have a look at this costume. This is absolutely incredible. This is Mel, and you're up here from Penticton. From Penticton. And you're hunting demons here while you're, while you're in the neighborhood. Hunting demons. There's quite a few around in these conventions. Yeah, I've noticed a few. This is a fantastic costume. How long did it take you to make this? A month and a half. Wow, that's pretty yeah. quick. Uh, it's... How long did you, like, how many hours did you put in though? That's hard to say. I got home from work and started working on my costume for the last month and a half, so quite a few hours. It's a lot of work to visualize in a 3D model um, from a flat piece of paper, for sure. Right, so. and it, it looks like it works quite well. Like, I mean, you can move around in that? Um, my mobility is pretty limited to a lot of textile costumes I've done before, but um, I've definitely learned a lot from making this costume. And you're, you're much better protected than if you were just wearing a textile costume. You can't go against demons without some kind of armor, right? <laughs> Not unless you're a wizard. <laughs> Now we've been talking to a lot of cosplayers throughout the event here and many of them are entered into a competition and that's where Andy Ray comes in. Uh, fantastic costume by the way. Thank you. So, Thank you so who much. Is it, who is this that you're dressed um, It's an armored version of a Pokemon. So I'm Vaporeon, a battle armor Pokemon version. We had a big group of us together a little while back. So it was awesome. Wow, that's amazing. Now you're actually uh, judging the cosplay competition. Yes, I am for sure. So we just finished doing the craftsmanship judging portion. And so that's where people give them a chance to come in and tell us like how they made it, how long it took, what kind of techniques, what kind of skills they had to go into it and stuff. So, so. It's, not, it's more to it than just how it looks, right? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like you can do something big armor, but something as simple as doing a pleated skirt can be 10 times more complicated. Right, there's a lot of technique in that. Absolutely. So, so I mean, you've been here from the beginning at, at KFX. Uh, how does it feel to see it grow this much? Oh, it's amazing. Like, everybody is sort of coming out of the woodwork for this, and the cosplay community is getting so much bigger, and just the artists and, and the comic book artists and all of even the performers. Like, we've got some acting troops and everything. It's just, it's amazing. It's wonderful to see Kelowna have something like this grow. And uh, the, the competition will be taking place later tonight. You're, uh, you're going to be back judging that. That's why we're back here by the stage door. So uh, thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks for being involved in this. And, and thanks, everybody, for watching. That is it for our show. I'm Doug Brown. This is Andy Ray. And we'll see you next time on Go. <laughs>